Los Angeles is it's a very good thing because it makes you want to get out of there as soon as you can. And I got out of high school, went to college for a year, and then decided to move east. I was looking for the purpose of life. And then someone said, oh, you should go to the Swat Valley. There's, the weather's up there is better, it's cooler, the air's cleaner. So I went to a place called Mingora in Swat. It's there that I started, I really liked the, the culture of the Patans. Mm. And I started learning Pashtu, learning their culture and slowly made my way up into the mountains to a place called Kalam. And the people there were extremely welcoming and I just kind of ended up staying there for about 10 years. I just somehow wandered in there and ended up living there for a long time and making friends, and sometimes translating for people, helping. And I went again on a bus from Peshawar to Kabul to Tehran to Istanbul to Algeciras and crossed over into Morocco. I got to Pakistan in 69 and I left in 79. I studied, I got my Arabic, my speaking Arabic and written Arabic kind of up to par a little to go to university and I got, and I started courses in September of 1979. You studied Islamic history, Islamic thought, Islamic philosophy. But I was just somebody that lived, I got married there eventually, I had a job, I was teaching English, teaching Arabic. And I just had a you know, normal day-to-day -day life. I remember I was riding in a bus in Marrakech, and somebody said, you're not leaving? I said, where do I have to go to? And then the other one said, no, 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 no. He's one of us, <laughs> meaning he lives here very, he's, he's a Moroccan. Everywhere I've gone, everywhere I've gone, I've always been very, the people have taken care of me, so. Yeah. I'm very happy teaching, I keep on teaching. I guess retirement is somewhere in the future. I need to 